Will Klaus do something mind-blowing? He hasn't even put a troop down and I think he's done something mind-blowing. And HT family is in here and they find themselves in the undesirable spot of being down a star to Queen Walkers. So they're going to need to find a way to not only keep tripling, but more importantly defend. And they're coming in with the strongest army in the game, in my opinion. Uh, so what better way to triple than that? Now we have got a prediction going in chat, whether this will triple in under 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And if there was ever an attack to do it quickly, it would be this one. So I'm interested to see the odds. I don't have it open now, unfortunately. But we'll see at the end of this attack uh, how the odds are doing. Yet again, let me know in the chat if you guys have got some specific... Um, specific sorry predictions that you want to see because we're going to do some fun ones this for anyways the start of this attack's going good notice how he actually saved the warden ability a bit later for this attack a lot of the queen walkers uh players were using it early as possible like an e-drake hit but because he had to go through the town hall here i think he wanted to uh save it for the giga bomb but as you can see here he's lost a few inferno drags in saying that there's still not a lot of base up Still not a lot of base up. Uses a freeze. That scatter shot's going to go down. This is a triple. It also looks like... It's <laughs> this has destroyed the 2 minute 15 second marker I hit. Set. Like, this is... He did it in under a minute 30. Are you kidding me? He did it in under a minute 30. <laughs> GG's to Jin Mu. And... Stadra is in here. After the last attack, smash the prediction. We decided to set it 1 minute 45 this time. And only 9% of people believe that. And it's a super witch attack. Never mind. Everyone who just voted yes to the attack finishing in under 1 minute 45 just lost all their points. There is no way he can triple in under 1 minute 45 with super witches. <laughs> I don't even think queen walkers can do that. <laughs> Rip to everyone who voted for that. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Rip. Well, that's part of the fun of it, right? You don't even know yourself. It's a bit of a wild guess. So, coming in with the Super Witches here. I mean, he did a super quick water walk. Look, I've seen crazier things happen. That's all I'm going to say. Super Witch comes back into the base. He's used up 50 seconds. He's halfway through his attack and he's at 33%. Can he get through the toughest 70% of the base in the next 40 seconds? Probably not. Good thing Rebel Jason here. So he's got the Valks coming out. Are the Valks going to run into the core? Nope, they're running straight at the town hall. I'm pretty sure they're going to die to the Giga Blast here. Oh, they get close. But then the scatter finishes them off. Can he triple in the next 20 seconds? I know you're all on the edge of your seat. Can he get 53% in 20 seconds? We'll find out soon enough. No, there's no way he's going to get that. This isn't actually looking great. I think he's got it. I think he's just got enough to push. Ooh, that Tesla farm popping though. Ooh. He's still got three Super Witches up, though. That should be enough. I don't think this RC is gonna, um, is gonna survive. Or maybe she will. Oh, well, it's a triple. Never in doubt, right? <laughs> Rip. Um, anyways, nicely done there from Stadra. Coming in with his good old-fashioned spam attacks, if you want to call it that. Um, and, like... He still tripled this base really quickly for Super Witches. That's the thing, guys. Like, yeah, he didn't triple in 1 minute 45 like a few of you hoped. But, like, tripling with, tripling with Super Witches in under 2 minutes 40 is, like, I would consider that quick. Like, it's not a quick attack at all. And he's just uh, bo absolutely bodied this base. So, GG's to Stadra and Queen Walkers. They still haven't failed in this best of two. And HT family is in here. Coming in with uh, the non-max slammer again. Does he know that he can bring a max slammer in his CC? Anyways, coming in with the E-drag attack. Ooh. 
but it looks like he's gonna suey the heroes on that right hand side. Now the poll we've set up now is there will there be three or more heroes left at the end? So I'm not sure. The E drags can be a good attack. It depends what you use the heroes for here. Whether the e the heroes will survive to the end. If you use them as a genuine funnel, then they will probably die. But a lot of the time on the E drag hits, you see the heroes kind of save for the end, and then it's very possible that you'll have three up at the end of the battle. King goes down, he's gonna die before the end of the battle. So it's really up to the RC and the Queen, will they die? It's very possible they don't, by the way. The RC's not deployed yet, the Queen's gonna be chilling for the next little bit. Anyways, Queen has to pop ability, oh, she's gonna die. She's Surely she dies, right? Anyways, we should actually commentate the attack. The Town Hall goes down to the Stone Slammer. Nicely done, oh wow, this this base looks like it's going to get wrecked. This base has gotten wrecked. He doesn't need the RC. He did send the RC into the Hound though. But there goes down the uh, second hero there. The Queen goes down. Looks like the RC will go down. Wait a second. Is there just a... No, there's no way, right? There's no way. The RC has her ability. Takes out the air defense. And that's going to be a triple. Nicely done there from HT family. And... Uh, Kudos to everyone that said no. In fact, there's only going to be one... Oh. I was so worried I jinxed that. I'd already given people the... Uh... Oh, wow. That got way too close. Could two Sam stop this? Oh, there go! There was a Sam there, but it doesn't take out the Warden, and HD Family get another triple. And Gaku is in here for Queen Walkers, coming in with a Queen Charge Hybrid. And the prediction on this one is: Will he swag spells? Let's see. Will he swag any spells on this one? So Hybrid, not the greatest army for swagging spells, honestly. The best sort of ones you see are sort of the Blizzard Lalo, the Zap Lalo. Those sort of types are great, but uh. This sort of attack, not great, but we'll see. Gaku's that good at hybrid, though. This is also the first hybrid that uh, Queen Walkers have done in the two wars so far. Interesting to note. Oh, look at that second wall breaker. Holy, this man's going to destroy this core. He's going to need lots of spells for his queen. But he's going to destroy that core. Fortunately, used a poison that he didn't have to. Is that a mistake? Oh, he's got a second poison anyway. Look at that, he didn't use the second poison. He's gonna wait for it for the Hound. That was so smart. Expect it to go down now. Yep, it's down. Didn't need to use it for the Headhunter. So, the real question is, can he figure out a way to swag this, uh, can he figure out a way to swag this invisible spell? I think that's his best bet for a swag spell here. I think that's his best bet. Because he's gonna need Probably both the freezes for his queen, and he's obviously going to need the heal. Also, interesting to note, yet again, just a one heal hybrid. We've seen a couple of these today. It's not something I thought I'd see. Oh, there goes the invisibility. Uh-oh. This is not looking good at all. Thankfully, there was no hogs on the town hall anyway, so it didn't matter too much. In terms of uh, the Gigabomb, because the Miners avoided it. There goes a heal. He's got a Freeze left, but he's going to have to use it. Is he? This is fascinating. Is he going to swag it? Is he going to swag it? Oh, I'm so... No, that's not a swag. I don't think that's a swag. You guys can argue with me all you want. I don't think that's a swag. If he had used it on, like, the Archer Tower, then I would agree that was a swag. But he used it on a multi that was actually doing damage to him. And that is not a swag in my opinion. And unfortunately for you all, as the person uh, who gets to choose the prediction, I I get the ultimate say. But GG's to Garku. And HT family is in here. Coming in with a zap drag attack. Interesting. Now the poll for this one is... Will, uh, will he swag spells and... This is not a good army, uh, not swag spells, sorry, swag hero abilities. 
This is not a good army for swagging hero abilities. I don't think he's. I don't think he can zap a uh, swagger hero ability with this. Either way, I've seen this base quite a few times now. I've seen this base quite a few times. It's an annoying base for sure, but uh, it is a common base uh, that Queen Walkers are running here. So let's see. Drag straight into the town hall. King and Queen on the top side. I can't see any of them swagging their hero abilities, so it's going to be up to the RC, and obviously the Warden's not going to swag his. Warden should pop. Nicely done. King's still on the top side. Slammer from the left. RC from the bottom. There is no way he can swag and uh, swag a hero ability, surely. Surely not. That would be insane. If he pops the RC ability now, he should get this air defense, right? Nope, it went the other way. And all the hero abilities are used. Damn, you, Chat's had some bad luck on some of these. I think it's very possible with most armies to get it, but not with this one. Didn't swag any spells either, but regardless, lovely attack here from HT family. I mean, I don't know how to commentate these guys. I'm literally just talking about the predictions mid attack rather than the actual attack because these guys are just that good. I'm just assuming it's a triple at this point. This is utterly ridiculous what these teams are doing. What, so they're both three out of three in this war or something like that? Like, they've failed one attack out of 15, I believe. Absolutely nuts. These teams are world class. And Smith is in for Queen Walkers here. And the, uh, the poll this time is, will he have over 100 troop space left at the end? And a uh, Sui Lalo can overkill a base like nothing you've ever seen. So let's see if he can pull it off here. So gonna be sending the king and queen in. Wonder how far he wants to get with this. Because he's only done the one wall breaker. But I assume he wants to get uh, the, what, the enemy queen and the scatter. He should be able to get those. And the king went back outside and got some trash. That's actually nice. He needs this queen to pull the enemy queen, though. Pop. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Can he get the eagle? I don't think he can, unless... No, doesn't get the eagle. I wonder if he wanted to get the eagle. Still. Oh, the RC is going to get the eagle. And then he's going to Lalo. There is a lot of base to Lalo, to be fair. There's a lot of base to Lalo. He's still got good value from the Sui. But this is a this is a tough Lalo. But it's definitely not beyond Queen Walkers. I mean, this is Queen Walkers, guys. They can Lalo anything. Perfect Warden and Rage. Look at this. This Rage is gonna... Wait, no, the Loons are missing the multi. What are you doing, Loons? Has he got anything to take out the uh, enemy RC? Oh, no. This is the most shocked I've been the whole war. Guys, we have a war here. We have a war. How This percent here is huge. I think he's going to beat the fail of HT family. So that's really rough for HT family there. They're going to need another fail out of Queen Walkers. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Surely he doesn't still get this. Right? Surely he doesn't still get this. Well, it's safe to say that there isn't over 100 troop space left. The real question here is, is he, is he going to triple it? What's this? Dra oh, this drag's just got an interesting amount of HP, but it's not under fire whilst the that Tesla must be so close. No way! How did that get so close, to be fair? But, oh, he got robbed there. Tesla, the only thing up, and it's not even full health. Nice try to Smith. Sui Lala, always good to watch, but couldn't quite get it there. 
and Best Love is in here with a hybrid attack. So our HD family, time's not their issue anymore. They just need to uh, keep tripling. They need to perfect and also get a second fail out of Queen Walkers to win here. Just absolutely crazy how good Queen Walkers are. That, you know, you need two fails out of them to win the warts. Not the greatest, but let's see. This is a nice little Queen Walk, by the way. Look at the dead space in this base. <laughs> Rhymes because it's true. Um, he'll be able to walk this entire side, and then he's going to try and probably send the King and Siege Barracks into the Eagle, and hybrid just through the gut of this base. I Like, unless this is super baited, I don't know how I could see this failing. I'm not going to lie. This is just a... This is just a good plan. Fundamentally makes sense. And saying that, got no wall breakers for this single. So I don't know what the plan is for the single there. King and Pekka come in from the top. There's the poison. Look at this CC. What a trolley CC. He does deal with it fine. The King's actually not going to get much value. He gets wrecked. That king ability was way late. What did he get stuck on it? He didn't even hit the RC. Oh, he's going to lose a lot of hybrid here. Um, this town hall needs to go down fast. Queen dies. Okay, this, this defense has some life in it now. Still got great value from the queen in terms of pathing. But uh, this defense has got some life in it. Healers are doing such a good job on these miners though. Oh, triple spring! Triple spring! Not one, not two, but triple. They were aware of this attack potentially coming in. Oh no. They have to triple out HD family. They can't really fail at this point. This is going to be mighty close. I don't think he's got it. No, you needed to get the ground bows. No, that was looking so good, but he just, he didn't, I, he didn't have a plan for this compartment here. He didn't have a plan for it. He, if he brought like a double wall break and wall broke there and there, I think the queen would have got this compartment and he would have tripled it, but he just kind of let the queen die here. And that was super unfortunate, but that's going to cost him. An HT family. Coming in with the fail at the most inopportune time. Still a great attack. Don't take anything away from that. But they don't need great attacks. They need amazing attacks. And they couldn't quite get that here. And Stars is in here. Coming in with a Blizzard Lalo by the look of it. Oh, this base? What the? How are they running this base? This is one of the older pushing bases. This was like May last year. Interesting base. Oh, he's gonna sneaky up the town hall. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Watch this. He's gonna use a haste spell. That's just incredible. What are you meant to do to stop that? Pops it open in this compartment. Definitely think you wanted to land it here. Yes, you're all probably thinking there's so much value in the core of the base. But I definitely think he wanted to land it there. Oh, that's not a good, uh, that's not a good, uh, invisible spell. That's better. And he's now damaged the entire core of the base. Wow. Well, the town hall's down. The entire core of the base is weak. He hasn't even deployed a single hero yet. We haven't seen the tornado trap. Will the queen be in the tornado trap here? I don't think she will. You would see that more with like smash attacks or queen charges, but not as much sueys. But let's see, the tornado could be anywhere, right? It's most likely in the core of the base. But we gotta we gotta look out carefully. That is obviously the prediction for this one. But wow, this this oh my, the scatter shot in the core goes down. Are you kidding me, stars?
Are you kidding me? Warden's early. Gets the hound in it as well. Both hounds. Those hounds are going to be tanking for an eternity. This just looks, uh... This looks wrecked. Ooh, the multi stays up. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He can keep freezing it. Pops the queen. <gasps> oh, look at that! You're kidding! The queen gets stuck in the tornado trap. How good is that? I bet none of you saw that coming. I thought she was dead a long time ago. Regardless, by the way, that is absolutely amazing attack. GG's to stars. Making, uh, making Queen Walkers still near perfect and 2% off the perfect. They're just an incredible team and what an amazing attack. And HT family is in here and like, they need a triple and then a really low percent hit from Queen Walkers. They're running the same base as they did last war. Wonder if they baited the hybrid. They're coming in with a Queen Charge Hogs this time. Ooh. So they want the Queen to go down. Probably wall break on the junction here. Perfectly done. Wonder if he'll use the Sneakies to funnel the Queen in here or if he's just satisfied with the funnel as is. Either way, it's, an, it's a nice little start to the attack here. Queen should go in perfectly done there. Expect a rage any second now. Bam, nicely done. Gonna miss this uh, air bow though. I would, I don't know what the sneakies are for, but I would use them on these collectors down here to stop the queen doing something you don't want her to do, right? Oh no, this air bow is gonna tear his healers apart. This air bow is gonna do so much work. These healers are not gonna get out of range for a long time. He has to deal with a toxic CC. What is this C What are these CCs? Wait, he's just... He's just gonna hog into the air bow. I assumed he was sending a few hogs to just get rid of it to save his queen. But no, he's full sending. Uh-oh. This is a one star. Wait, sh <gasps> what an awesome double wall break. Rage and freeze, rage and freeze. Rage and freeze, freeze the town hall and rage your queen. He got it, he got the town hall. I actually think he triples this from here, by the way. He's got three headhunters, he just needs to actually use them. <laughs> oh, he only just pops his warden. How nice was that double wall break into the core? That was sick! Lovely attack from HD Family. Holy, that was so nice. Good plan on the base. And uh, despite the air bow running amok, even better execution. GG's there to HT Family. And Klaus is in here. He's got three super falcs and bats. What? Wait, he's got 18 mil. What is this army? What? Okay, well, for those watching this on YouTube, we have a prediction in this, and the prediction was, will Klaus do something mind-blowing? He hasn't even put a troop down, and I think he's done something mind-blowing. I, I, I count this as mind-blowing. My mind is blown. And look at this, he's gonna double, he's gonna, well, at least single quake the town hall with an invis spell. Take that out, nice. Nothing too mind-blowing about that. But what? He's got 17 Valks and 3 Super Valks. What is this? For the record, guys, the war is still on the line. I know Queen Walkers have been pretty comfortable throughout, but I believe they need a 74% two-star to secure the war here. So, like, Valks is not the most secure, like, attack ever. Like, this could get interesting. What if Klaus... What if this attack from Klaus, like, cost them? I doubt it, right? Because Klaus is Klaus. But still... Oh, I'm so psyched for this attack, though. He's got two zaps as well. What are the two zaps in the Quake for? He's already used his RC ability. What are the two zaps in the Quake for? What, what could they genuinely possibly be for? What is this? Okay, he's used... Couple of his Valks there to funnel. Wait, why haven't they gone between these two buildings? Valks, what are you doing? SMH. 
He's just spreading them around the base. Is this like an avalanche with Valks? Oh, no way. I can see what he's gonna do. I know what- I can see what's happening. He's just trying to send all his troops around the edge of the base and he's gonna bat bomb the core scatter, I reckon. Nope, he's got a bunch of super wall breakers going straight into the heart of the base. <gasps> no way. Surely not. He gets some use- he's the first person ever to get use out of the Super Valk dying, by the way. Okay, so he didn't do what I thought he was doing. By the way... By the way, there's no splash left up, except this Wizard Tower, which is about to go down. And is currently being tanked for. <laughs> it's a time fail. The saddest time fail I've ever seen. No, no, that's so sad. Queen Walkers are gonna win the war, but this was just the sickest attack ever. How does he come up with this? Oh my god, Klaus, you madman. I can't believe he attempted that. That's the only way Klaus fails, is when he uses an army like that. And it's not even his army disappearing that costs him, it's time. As you can see, the second war, HD Family actually wins the second war, by the way, uh, with that attack there. They win at 14 to 13, so kudos to them. But as you can see, uh, Queen Walkers won by three buildings in this war, and if we head over and go to the war look, we can see the other war that Queen Walkers won by one star, but they also won on percent. So if you put the two wars together, both clans got 28%, but Queen Walkers end at like 198.4, whereas HD Family is going to be ending at 194.2 or something. So GG's to both sides, by the way. They both played amazing in this. The fact that the average destruction throughout this war was like 98 from both sides, it's just incredible. These are two amazing teams, but unfortunately for HD Family, 28 stars isn't enough, and Queen Walkers will be going to the grand final of the LSC. They will either be playing RTK or EM Legion Divina, and given how they played today, you have to think they'll go in as the favorite. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully, I'll see you soon.